felt like doing a reading. Y'all don't look at my hair. It is everywhere. There's some other things that I'm going to do today that involves sweaty work. <laughs> Pull it down. So I think we're going to do um, Aquarius. I'm doing Aquarius reading. This is going to be Aquarius for this week for some reason. So what's going on this week and weekend for Aquarius? This weekend and this coming week for Aquarius. What is going on with Aquarius? Having some acid reflux. Somebody doesn't want you moving on, Aquarius. Bottom of the deck yourself, the star. After that, two of staffs. The ten of cups. The ten of staffs. The hangman. Justice. And the ten of swords. You have three tens on the bot on this deck. Coming out in the first before I even get a clarifier out. You got three tens, the hangman, and the justice card. Okay, Aquarius. You get two fear of raw. What's that? The fool. And the high priestess. Well, it looks like you're fixing to gain some papers on something, Aquarius. Let's clarify it. Oh, spirit and giver. Clarify this ten cups for me. Thank you. Sudden well. Can I find that 10 stats for me? Change. You have been working hard for a new change, Aquarius. Got that 10 of cups there, and then you know that can mean anything. That can mean new life, sudden wealth, like that says, a new love. Hangman, please. Start by the hangman. What's it about? What is the hangman about? I'm seeing you also getting a new car, Aquarius. Congratulations. You've been needing one. Thank you. Hanging around for a child. I got the justice. Toil and labor. It's been worked on, but you get some justice. Clarify the Ten of Swords. Who's stabbing Aquarius in the back? What's going on with that? Thank you. Occupation. Hmm. Someone at your job? Clarify the Fool. Someone at your job or someone that sews, possibly sews for a living, I'm seeing they're making something for you or they're supposed to be, and they keep putting it off. That's what I see. They keep putting it off. They keep saying, well, 
Um, I haven't got to it yet. I got a lot of background. I got something going on in my life. Blah, blah, this, blah, blah, that. We'll clarify it a little bit more. Apparently, it means it's important to you. Uh, clarify the high priestess, please. Journey. And clarify the star over here that was on the bottom of the deck. What's the outcome on that? Wow. Throw it at me. Wealthy man. <sighs> Trade them out. Poverty was on the bottom of the deck again. So right now you may be in poverty. I'm looking at uh, a change in jobs. I'm looking at a new child in your surroundings. Alright, let's clarify that sudden wealth. When's that coming? That ten of cups, that sudden wealth. Give me one more clarify on it. Clarify the clarifier. It just tells a better story, okay? Don't get mad at me for why well, you keep clarifying everything. It tells a better story for me, okay? So I can give you out everything. I could say, oh, you got happiness coming, possibly some money, you're working hard, it's going to be changed to your work, you're hanging around. King of Staffs. You're, what's the change? You're hanging around, there's going to be some justice at work. Because uh, of somebody stabbing you in the back. Thank you. Emperor. Where find the child on the hangman? Thank you. Almost threw it at me. Three of swords. Where find that three of swords? Chariot. Hmm. Skipper, clarify the three of swords and the chariot on the child, on the hangman. And we'll sit here all day long with clarifiers, I know, but this is some of a story need to be put together. Usually it's for a personal reading, but, you know, concern. Okay. Let's do one more. Who has the concern? Who has the concern for the child? Who is in that Three of Swords? Thank you. Official person. Alright, Miss Cleo. Where are my toils and labor? Toils and labor. Toils and labor. Whoa. You just threw half the deck at me. We're not doing half the deck. Just one card, please. One card. Call some labor on the justice. It wants to come out, whatever it was, it'll come out again. There's only about eight of them there. Thank you. Page of stats. Okay. Clarify the occupation on the Ten of Swords, please. Occupation on the Ten of Swords. Thanks. The Ten of Staffs. <sighs> Somebody wants you to move on at work. They want you to move somewhere else. They don't want you in the job. Uh, they don't. You're involved in their job and somehow, and they don't want you there in that area of job. 
They don't care where you move to, where you move on to. They just want you out of their job. All right, give me the thoughts on the fool. Wealthy man on the star. Eight of swords. Okay. feel like there is a male in your life that you have asked to help you, but they have been so busy that they cannot at this time, okay? Um, on this star with the wealthy man with the eight of swords, did they get anybody else to help? What are they doing about it? On the eight of swords. clarifier, not a whole ship full. Thanks. Careful lady. Nothing else. I'm sure we're going on the same thing. Oh, wow. And you threw another one out at me. Community. There is a man in your life. He's he's not your boyfriend. He's not your husband. He's not your brother. Uh, he's not attached to you. Uh, he has a little bit of money. He may he may be uh, in your work or something like that, and he sees what's going on in your life. And although he feels like he doesn't have uh, the right to step up or the right to step in. Uh, because he is a male, possibly he's a married man, is what I'd say, and he doesn't want to do his wife like that, or you to think wrong of him. He's sending a woman in to come help you. Maybe two women. Okay. Can I get one on this king of staffs? So I'm going to send one up on that ten of cups. What's that about? Seeing you being diligent pathway. So I'm seeing you have two fire signs here. One in Aries and one in Sagittarius. One is throwing obstacles in your path, and the other one is maneuvering you around the obstacles. So you can have a path. Um, this may not resonate with many but I see it as one is possibly your child and a teenager or in their 20s or something like that and the other one they're like a false friend I believe I mean I don't have the false person card here but they're I feel like they're ha they're a false friend okay They're making it hard for you to have change. They're making it very hard for you to have change. They want you hanging around. They're keeping you hanging, okay? 
And there's possibly three people that's keeping you hanging from moving on, moving forward. And it is a possible concern. I'm getting uh, two different things here. One is they're using the excuse of a child that they're concerned for the child. But I'm also seeing that as some, there's an official person watching this and they have a concern about these these three people doing this, they have this concern for the child's safety. All right, justice. Uh, there's going to be some justice at work. There is a spy. Someone is watching you. Let me see this. I feel like I need to get some more words into that. Okay, somebody's going to bring you some news. What is the news about? Unless it's about the justice, working on the justice. When is the news coming? What is the news about? In a fortnight is what I hear, in a fortnight. That means it's on its way. Distant horizon. Okay, uh... Yeah, the high priest is here, and I see paperwork and a journey in the Ace of Staffs. What I'm actually seeing there is someone is going to pick up paperwork. I don't see it as you picking up paperwork. I see it as someone else. Someone else has gone to pick up a file of paperwork. This could be real estate. This could be uh, attorney stuff. This could be official papers on something to get something done. And they have to travel to do it. It's not in the mail. It has to be hand delivered. You're waiting on it. You're waiting on happiness. You're waiting on bliss. You've been waiting. Your thoughts are on it every single day from the time you open your eyes to the time you close your eyes. Your thoughts are also on somebody from the past. You are really hurt by them about the things that they did do and mostly the things that they didn't do. Um, You seem to be the main female in all this, Aquarius. For some of you, there is someone near you. Maybe your child, your brother, your sister. I'm seeing a male, though. I'm seeing a male. Um... They're going to be a parent. The baby is in the womb. I see the baby in water. You may find out in the next seven weeks. Congratulations. I know you're concerned about it, but it's going to work out. Everything in life is for a reason. All our paths are really divinely guided, and it's so we learn lessons. So everything that happens in somebody's life, you can't control it. It's not meant for you to control. It's just meant for you to make choices. For you. Each one of you. It's kind of like, uh, let's say it's New Year's Eve. And at Christmas time, you went and bought 
30 pairs of gloves and 30 scarves to hand out at a party that got canceled. Okay? On Christmas. They got, it got, the Christmas party got canceled for some reason. Uh, or they decided they weren't handing out gifts. They were just partying or something. So you didn't hand out the 30 scarves and 30 gloves. But on New Year's Eve, you're going down the road and you see five homeless people standing outside and they got one of them 55 gallon barrels and they got a fire going inside of it and none of them have a scarf on and none of them has gloves on, okay? It is your choice. This is, this is, this is, this is God looking at you saying, okay, here's a lesson. What are you going to do? You got them 30 gloves. You're, you're, you got five minutes to get to the movie bin before your movie is uh, charged double again or charged for a late fee. That's all you got is five minutes. It's up the road one mile away. But you see these people here with no gloves on and scarves on, or no scarves on, no gloves on, and they're standing beside a fire and they're freezing to death and it's, it's uh, 32 degrees out, 30 degrees outside. What do you do? What is your lesson that you learn in this? Yeah, it's only a mile up the road. And you could skip the fee and then come back. Or you could just completely go humble and give them the gloves and the scarves and held the jacket off your back. The blanket in the back seat. To keep warm. Yeah, you're going to pay the three dollars and seventy five cents for the late fee for the movie that you're one mile away from taking back but isn't that something you can eat right then you know and what happens if them people are gone before you get back you know there's five or ten of them there and and you've got 30 pairs of gloves and 30 scarves What happens if three or four of them leave and there's only one or two still there when you come back? Those others didn't get any. Okay, anyway, you get my gist. You get my gist of it. All right, let's go with this one. That was what my mind was on in the first place. Wow, expectations. Exactly. There's expectations that are expected of you. There's expectations by... Everyone, there's expect. If you have animals, your animals have expectations of you. If you have neighbors, your neighbors have expectations of you. Um, <clears throat> your parents, if your parents are alive, your parents have expectations of you. You know, work has expectations. Your children go to school. The school that your children go to have expectations of you. What else do you have for Aquarius? Bad health, high honor, the courthouse. All right. Aquarius, you need to make a change in your habits. If you don't drink enough water, you need to drink more water. If you eat too many fattened foods, you need to stop eating fattened foods. If you don't exercise enough, you need to go out and exercise more. I'm saying that you need to get out of the house, get some vitamin D in your system. You literally need to start taking care of yourself before your health goes bad. Okay? 
I'm saying it's on the verge of it. I'm also saying that some of you, uh, someone is wishing bad health on you, for one thing. Clarify the bad health for me. The bad health. Clarify the bad health. They may be enticing you, saying, hey, here's a honey bun. Hey, here's a Snickers bar. Hey, I just bought five cakes at the store. I figured I'd give you three. That's very nice of an offer. But could you please go take them to the homeless shelter? Someone who doesn't have food, who's skin and bone, not somebody who's already getting a little love handle on the hip. I need to go exercise and not eat more cake. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Thank you. Knight of Coins. Alright, who has the bad health? Who has the bad health? Also, I'm getting here, and I didn't say it the first time. It was before I even got that clarifier out. Tower. Yeah. There may be a Scorpio in your life that has bad health uh, that you may just be hearing about recently. I feel like they might be older. Um... If you're expecting to go to court up against someone, they're going to try to say that they're in too bad of health to go to court. They're in too bad of health uh, to go to jail. Uh, they're in too bad of health. Alright, clarify that bad health one again. Who has the bad health? More on it. Give me more on it. Thank you. False person. Yes, indeed. Yep. That's what they're going to say. Uh, it depends on how bad the case is you're going up against. They're going to say they're mentally ill. They can't be charged. Blah, blah, this. Blah, blah, that. Blah, blah, the other. Um, they got a poor heart. They can't go to jail for the crimes that they did. But it's not going to work. I don't see it working. Let's ask the cards. Is it going to work? Is it going to work for this false person? They're going to try to choose that as their pathway. Queen of Staffs. Hmm. Ace of Swords. Thank you. Seven steps. It is not going to work. Um, if anything, it's going to put them further in their problems. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I don't know the situation if they're expected to go to jail uh, or anything. Um, I see them trying to block your path in every which way they possibly can. I feel like their next move is to like tell the judge, Oh, I can't come to court. I'm sick. <laughs> Oh, uh, I must have had a mental lapse. Uh, I don't remember doing any of that. <laughs> I would never, ever do such a thing. see some of you are wishing that someone would come see you. You have someone that you're a little bit interested in and you're hoping that they're a lot interested in you and you're wanting them to come see you. But they seem a little busy at the moment.
I don't know why I'm just saying Leo and Scorpio always and forever. It's got to be some teenage stuff there. <clears throat> Alright, Aquarius, that is your reading for this week. Thanks for letting me read for you. It's just a random reading, you know, for this week. I probably ain't going to do all the signs, so. <clears throat> 